maple syrup production? It all started at a very young age. As I can remember, as a little six-year-old, my first job was in the woods, picking up logs. And gradually, as I got older, my father showed me more and more. And from there comes the passion for maple syrup production. I am Marc-Andre Shabbat. I am co-owner of CDL with my brothers, and I work in research and development. CDL Intelligence, in fact, is a network that is designed to automate actions that are repetitive in a sugar bush. And above all, to communicate in real time what is happening in the sugar bush. Basically, it's the vacuum level. What is going on in the tubing system? Are there any leaks? It also allows us to go directly to the problem without walking the entire bush. It's a lot for efficiency and for productivity that CDL Intelligence was released over five years ago. The name was recently changed to Intelligence. Why? It's simple because it is no longer just a monitoring system, as we used to call it. It's not just communication, it's now something that completely incorporates all the actions and automates the entire sugar bush. We now talk a lot about 4.0. We are definitely getting there. It is precisely with the help of intelligence technologies that we will get there. And with the help of that CDL brain, we will be able to process the data and help maple syrup producers make good decisions in their daily life to maximize the productivity of their sugar bush. Before, we were talking about businesses with two, 300 taps. As an example, today we're talking about 750,000 taps, the largest one being located in Vermont. These are huge projects that are now possible thanks to the technologies that currently exist. My name is Annick Godbout. I am co-owner of the firm F.A. Godbout Inc. in St. Gervais, Quebec. I am an eighth generation maple syrup producer on the farm and a mom of three children, so I have a pretty busy life. Our sugar bush has grown over the years. We went from 3,000 taps to 5,000 taps. CDL supports us in many ways, beginning with the vacuum sensors, the RO, the evaporator, and all the other modern equipment, which reduces my working hours. But still, in the end, having the same quality product. The application is simple to use. It's a web page. I enter my username, my password, and I go straight to my monitoring system and my vacuum sensors network. No matter where I am, usually I use my cell phone, I consult it very regularly in a day to check if SAP is running, if I have to start my pumps, etc. Everything can be managed at my fingertips. It's so easy and simple to work with. The service at CDL? I love it. They listen to you. They sell you a product, but it's more than just selling the product. They support you after the sale. And that's worth a lot to my business. For CDL, another challenge was that the IT skills of each client is very different. We had no choice but to optimize and simplify our system as much as possible. Still, I am very happy to say that I think we did it with the CDL system. We have clients 70 years old, even over 80 years old, that have been working and using our system over the years. For me, this shows that we have succeeded in making it simpler so that it can be used by all generations of maple syrup producers. Hello, let's introduce ourselves. Mario, Michelle, Patrick, and Sylvain Cote from Erablier MMPS Cote from saint Lazare de Balchas, Quebec. We have been in maple syrup production for 24 years. 
The passion for maple syrup production in our family started, I think, with our father. We were collecting sap with buckets. He would take us to the sugar bush and we would play with all of our cousins. Then one day, Mario told me he might want to buy some woodlots for our retirement. Then I said to Mario, why buy a woodlot? Let's buy a sugar bush and enjoy it today while we can. We'll be able to work as a family and with Dad. We'll use his experience to learn about maple syrup production. So in 2003, we bought our first sugar bush. And in 2009, that's when we got bigger and reached the number of taps we have today. We are three out of four owners with a full-time job. Sure, with the number of taps we have, it would be impossible without this technology. So all that evolution by CDL, automation of reverse osmosis, integrated pan washer, evaporator with steam pan, all those things have helped us tremendously because it allows us to have a balanced life. We are very family-oriented. Family values are important. With CDL Intelligence, we currently have the monitoring part, which is what started CDL Intelligence, I must say. At first, we got information from the vacuum sensors, information from the tubing system, and then we realized that the source of income in the sugar bush is the sap, so we have to be able to collect it effectively. CDL began to work on collecting information with vacuum sensors in the forest. And then, over time, we added the automation of pumping station equipments. In short, CDL helped optimize everything in order to avoid traveling back and forth in the sugar bush. After that, where do we want to go? Well, we want to be able to monitor the volume of sap in the pumping stations because when we talk about efficiency and profitability, in, in reality, we want to know how much sap has been collected. Did I collect it all? Have I lost any? Once at the sugaring house, we have the automated RO. We concentrate the sap to a high bricks level in order to save evaporation time. And then the barrel filling. We follow the sap to the drop of syrup from start to finish because managing the ending is as important as the beginning. For barrel filling, we are now using Brix readers. And talking of traceability, for a better management of our finished product, we must know at every moment what is the bricks of the syrup filling the barrels. Often, people have passion, but often what happens, they are working themselves to death. You have to be careful. We must try to find a certain balance. It's not always easy because we have our children, our spouses, our families. And I think we succeed in finding this balance in operating and expanding our business. I think the key is if you're really passionate about what you're doing, you're going to be successful. This is really how it works in the maple world. 